大家好，我是四建国，我在浙江杭州 ，I'm in Zhejiang Province in the city of Hangzhou. And recently, in China, city walks have become very popular. But I don't want to do a Hangzhou city walk. No, we're going to do something totally new today. We're going to do a uni walk. So I'm standing outside the main gate of Zhejiang Daoshu, Zhejiang University, or Zhejda, founded back in 1897. It's one of China's oldest and most prestigious universities. Let's go inside Zhejda and start uni walking. So as I was doing my research about Zhejiang Daoshu, photos of these buildings. Popped up quite a lot online. As you might know, the 19th Asian Games are taking place in Hangzhou right now, and one of the venues for the Asian Games is inside Zhejda. That is right. A venue is inside this university, and it is that building right there. So, what's taking place in there? Basketball, Lanzhou. This is the Zhejiang University Zhejiang Gymnasium. Three venues will actually be hosting the basketball event during the Asian Games. Two in Hangzhou, one in Shaoxing, and this is one of the three. Twenty-two matches are actually going to be taking place here. The gymnasium has been renovated for the purposes of the games, but also a warm-up venue has been built next to this gymnasium. They've been linked together, and that warm-up venue is permanent. So once the games have concluded, the students here at Zhejda will be able to benefit from all the renovations. It's so cool, so cool for the students of Zhejda because in the future they can say they have played sports. Within an Asian Games venue, how cool is that? And I can say I've dunked an Asian Games event. Oh no, I can't, I can't reach that. So there's loads of volunteers in the venue today. I'm going to try and talk to some. Nijaru Mingda. My name is Huang Yuan Ran, Li Yijie. My name is Yang Fanbin. What major? Hai Yang Ji, Hong Kong Science Academy. Zhuke Zhen Xuan, Science Academy, Wang Xiong Science Academy. Wow, why do you want to be a volunteer? Uh, because in China there's a saying called "Jiu Wu Yi, Yi Hong Chang." We're just all in together, 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 all in A swimming pool, as you can see. In fact, two swimming pools. This one, much further in length. I'm not sure exactly how far it is. It looks about 50 meters. I might be wrong. Students are currently having class here in the pool. These are some seriously good sports venues. You got the sports gymnasium over there, being used for the Asian Games, and then you got this right next to it. Wow, some lucky students here at Zhejda. So this is Yuyalo. Or the Crescent Building. That's one of the most famous buildings on this campus. And it's opposite that beautiful lake. Such a pretty campus. So the sports gymnasium that you can see in the distance over there, and the swimming pool is next to it. That kind of shows the value that Zhejda places on sports. It's not even a sports university. However, students all over this campus are taking part in sports classes today. Hopefully, I can interrupt some of those classes and see. What it is that they do, I'm quite interested in that because British universities, including my university, Oxford, didn't have sports classes. Of course, you could do sports if you're interested, but if you weren't interested, you didn't have to do any sports. I blame Oxford for my fitness. If I'd have come to Zhejda, I'd probably be at the Olympics by now. Maybe not the Olympics. One of the things that stands out the most about Zhejda to me: so much water in the university. And seeing as there is so much water, and they put so much value on sport here, of course there are water sports on offer. And these students are warming up for class. Unfortunately, I'm not going to join them because I would definitely fall in the water. Definitely. Yeah, some of these guys might fall in. I hope it doesn't happen. But if it does, let's hope we get it on camera. Oh, they're all new students, so this is their first class. It's much more difficult than it looks, and obviously, I'm giving them quite a bit of pressure by filming them. Did you fan it? No. 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 No.
之前没有体验过，想要体验一下。你会从大一到大四就一直上这个是吗？每个学期都可以换的。哦，是吗？对，可以重新选的。啊、哦，太好了！还会有考试吗？有。加油！<笑>加油！<笑><笑>怎么称呼您老师？徐亚平，徐老师，能给我介绍一下这门课？我们有八种课，皮划艇，嗯，有分皮艇，就是现在你们看的那个皮艇，还有那个划艇，独木舟的。您还会叫龙舟、yes, 是吗 ？Yes， 还有赛艇，嗯，还有桨板瑜伽，还有 SUP 站着划的，还有水上安全救援。太好了。So another class that I wasn't expecting to see, Wulong Wu Shi or the Lion and Dragon Dance. Now I can do this. I've done it before. I'm quite good at it. Hey. I can do that. I could take part in this class quite easily. Oh, maybe not. I'm not sure, but does every Chinese university have a Wulong Wushu class? Surely not. This is their Tiyu Ke. It's not a traditional sport per se, it's more of a beautiful art form. If you can do this, you are very fit. So the dragon dance is taking place over there, and they're practicing the lion dance here. Wulong Wushu. What kind of class takes place here? So this is one of the more unique sports classes here in Jodha. Rock climbing. I shan't be trying this one either. Definitely not trying this.虽然我说我不敢试试攀岩，但是老师让我试试最基本的跑跑活动，容易吗？挺容易的，对你来说绝对没问题。一点都不危险，非常安全，请放心。将你的力量向臀部后放。哦，行，好，加油。谢谢，